Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number 54. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like, as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alright, so we are taking part in the Club Del Toro Furioso. Uh, basically, bulls. The bull club. Full of Lamborghinis. We're going to start off with Sebring, Magello, Laguna Seca, and then finishing off with silverstone let's get cracking all right what is up it's a new day uh and we're here in the lat lamborghini lamborghini specifically the merchilago but this thing is crazily upgraded i also think this audio is a little too loud so i'm going to adjust it a tiny bit Whoa! Oh my god. I'll pain on my skin. It's not bad. The old school Lamborghini Murcielago is an absolute classic. I love this car to bits. But I find it extremely weird. So a lot of these older Lamborghinis and like older race cars that are in uh, some of the older Forza games pretty much have all been re-added to Forza Horizon 5. Horizon 4 had a lot of new cars in it. Horizon 5 seems to have nothing from like 2020, 2021 or 2022. There's a very small amount of cars. But there's a huge amount from, like, older Forza games. I mean, I'm not complaining. But, like, stuff like the Reventon. The Reventon, however you want to say it. Best-looking Lamborghini that has ever existed. But... Has been in a Forza game before. Got removed and then re-added for Horizon 5. It's a pattern you see with actually quite a substantial amount of uh, cars in this game. I've only actually, um, I haven't actually edited any of the videos from the last uh, recording session. From the really long... Uh, 12 hour stream that ended up only being 7 hours I got 5 videos done in 7 hours which is not too bad I've done better and more efficient but yeah not too bad Not bad. So far, since wiring my PS5 controller, I've not had a single um, dropout in terms of like, signal. So I think it is just a Bluetooth problem with the PS5 controllers. Because um, every time I've used Bluetooth or like the controllers in a wireless mode, it has always been problems. But when it comes to um, using it with a wire, little to no problems in fact I don't think I've had a problem with a wired PS5 controller yet bend it shit that's not ideal what got damaged Steering is fine. Drive shaft is a little bit damaged. 
and gears are definitely brokey. Uh, that's pretty awesome, Jacob. What are you uh, modding it? I assume you're modding it with uh, Free McBoot and something like that. Fair enough. There's no uh, wing mirror on the left side of the car now. I've lost it in my little accident. Just an accident. Just a small accident. Not bad. This thing's lovely to drive around this track. If I'm going to be totally honest. So Yeah, I will be the one to keep when I come back to you. Bum bum. A thousand hours on VR chat on Steam. Jesus. I actually, earlier on today, I bought EA Play for Steam. Um, I know the games list is much smaller than if I was to buy EA Play on Origin. Because some of the games just don't exist on Steam. They're only available on Origin. But I think it's worth it anyways to have it on Steam. Because one, if you get a Steam Deck, you got the games there. Two, it's a much better platform in terms of downloading stuff. And three means that I can actually, like, enjoy, try out some some games before they actually come out. Uh, specifically, I mostly got it to try out uh, F122 with VR. I'm going to tell you now, F122 in VR is phenomenal. And I'm, like, this close to buying the full game. But I'm going to wait for it to go on sale first before I even think about it like a substantial sale because it's only been out for like three weeks so but it will probably have like a half off sale in about a month or two I'll buy the game then So yeah, we're 89 followers away from uh, hitting a thousand. We've got about uh, a month and a bit to hit that. So if you want to help support the channel, feel free to share it out. I really want to see if we can get 1k by the end of August. Because that'll be a thousand followers with actual, like, hard work. There won't be any shout-outs or anything that have gotten me that. 
just hard work and dedication when it comes to streaming. But I've got um, two and a half thousand on YouTube, but I about five hundred of those came from a shout at the start, and I think that's what messed up with the algorithm a little bit, which is why my YouTube won't do so well. But there's an easy way to fix it. Just watch every video for at least five minutes and give it a like. That should fix the algorithm. It's a pretty simple... The algorithm simplified dramatically since YouTube Shorts became a thing. Because it's now all just based off of the like counter. 5k subs on YouTube. That's not bad, actually. It's extremely challenging to get subscribers on YouTube at the moment. But again, the easiest way to do it is for existing subscribers to just watch the content and like it. That's the easiest way to grow. As long as existing subs are doing that, we'll work. Not bad. 20 grand, I'll take it. Thank you very much. All right, here we go, Miguelo. Miguelo. You don't have to dump the BIOS. You just have to get the BIOS. And you just have to get the ISO files. But the legal way of doing it with no consequences is by doing it by dumping them. So dumping the BIOS from your actual system and then also doing the same with disks, just dumping them onto your computer. But there are loopholes that you can do to do other methods as well. Don't have to say you're sorry. Alright. This thing, we're barely putting the foot to the floor and then you're having to slow down for the next corner. Yeah, legal way is the, is, is the best way to do it. I do that pretty much for 99% of the shit I do anyways. Turn your back on me. Uh, so the BIOS basically... Um, the BIOS is short for Basic Input Output System. That's what BIOS stands for, and it's basically a way to, for a computer to send instructions to components on the system before the operating system boots. I don't know why they call the PS2 BIOS the BIOS, because it's the full operating system as well. Yeah. But... It pretty much is just, you know, the stuff. Also, you don't need a PS2 or a modded PS2 to actually dump uh, PS2 games. Uh, NJW, welcome. What's up? How are you today? Oh, shit. Yeah, so you don't actually need um, a modded PS2 to actually um, dump the game. <laughs> I'm not doing too good brand this track. Just follow you on my old account but my phone broke. Ah, fair enough. Well, uh welcome back. What was your uh, old account? Cuz I I do recognize NJW. I do recognize that sequence of letters. It rings a bell. But obviously it's been a, been a few months, so I can't really remember too well. <laughs> I'm very much sure, Jacob. I, I do it all the time. 
I dumped the BIOS once and for my PS2, and I have never, um, what's it called? Never used it for, uh, watching my jig. For actually, uh, dumping the games. Because all, all I do is just put in my disk drive and then just turn it into an ISO image. Uh, Wolfie, welcome. Long time no see. Everyone's, uh, coming back. Ah, Panda. Yeah, that rings a bell now. Yes. Yeah, I remember. Do, do, do. Oh, Arava's just uh, uploaded a video for uh, F1 My Team. Gonna have to watch that later. This is going to be a 12 minute race. And this is a faster car than probably the other stuff that I was planning on taking. Yeah, how are you, Wolfie? Hopefully you're having a good day. Ah, I've gone wide again. Not bad. PS emulator to emulate. What do you mean by that, Jacob? Just completed FM1 100% on hardest difficulty. Oh, well done. That's all I can say to that. Fucking well done. That game is difficult. The massive challenge to actually 100% that game. Just because of the fact that the AI is just so incredibly inconsistent. Uh, not really too much, to be honest. Um, we basically just started up a new series where we play through every Forza game, which is what we're doing today. PCSX2 emulator. Yeah, so there's... You can either use the PS2. The PS2 can be extremely slow. Um, because of the fact that it... It's a PS2. It's not designed to be fast. Um, that's sound cocky, but it was not that hard. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, I've... I found it extremely difficult just because of the inconsistencies with the AI. So. And I mean, with some of the game design as well, um, it made it so that it was impossible for you to actually take your own car because pretty much, it, I think like 70% of the races were all like, oh, you're not allowed to upgrade, by the way. Or you're not allowed to go above this. So you ended up being forced to take a stock car with a very generic category where one of the cars was extremely overpowered. The worst one was the uh, classic cars every single time you had it you basically only have one car you could do for the uh, historic cars so you'd either have the stingray for that first one uh i'm not 100 percent sure what the second one was i want to say it was the ford gt that you had to take yeah there's a combo of nikita mazepin and young max verstappen what ex extreme uh, either extremely slow or insanely fast
Pull sim boss. <laughs> yeah, he's been the sim boss for the past, I think, two months now. He got killed off for about a week. And then he was just like, here's $250. Take it. And I was like, ah, oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> simp boss again. Oh, no. Which, by the way, for anyone uh, watching on YouTube, you are actually able to attack the Twitch simp boss by uh, clicking that super thanks button or the super chat button. So far, nobody on YouTube has attacked the uh, simp boss. So, the simp boss is... Uh, Fairly protected. Saw them dive bomb from over a second back. That's just so stupid. They do that. It's ridiculous. I've been dive bombed by the AI in Forza Motorsport to the point it's ruined a race. And I've been like, well, what, what the fuck did that achieve? Like, it's just horrendous. Like, at least in this game, okay, I keep forgetting that the, I turned the AI down for one of the races because the one make races are still extremely challenging for me in this. Whoa! Nice slide. Some type of miracle. I didn't realize how much worse I was at at Forza than, um... How the hell did that basically just destroy my entire front bumper? Like that. Yeah, I'm so much worse at Forza than, like, actual sim racing stuff, which is just baffles me. But it is what it is, I guess. I think it's the fact that there is just an arcade aspect to this game that just doesn't sit right with me, but. Yeah. But I'm not programming a different way for Simp Boss. If the Simp Boss literally attacks itself, then it deserves to lose health. <laughs> yeah. Forza Motorsport 1 was never a uh, fair racing game at all. Motorsport 2... It's much more fair, but it's not much better. It only starts improving with Motorsport 3 and 4, so... Alright! Let's get going. Um... I don't know as a speed run. But the problem with doing a Forza playthrough, completing all the games, is completion for these games are very subjective now. Because there's no actual way to say you've 100% completed them. Sure, Motorsport 1, 2, 3, and 4, you can just, like, you know, go through all the events, get first in all of them, and buy all the cars. You can say that's 100% completion. But that takes a substantial amount of time. On top of the amount of time it already takes to complete the events. Uh, and then when you start moving on to games like, I don't know... Wow, all, all of the motorsport games are fairly straightforward, but you move on to stuff like Horizon 3, Horizon 4, and Horizon 5, where you've actually got no physical way of actually 100% completing that game, because a lot of the stuff is hidden behind limited time events. So, it is ridiculous. Oh no, Horizon 3, 4, and 5 for me are going to absolutely suck trying to do them. Honestly. For this entire series, I've already sort of like written out my criteria of what is going to class, classify as, ooh, as a 100% playthrough. Um, so basically for all the motorsport games, it just requires me to finish all the events and complete them. Uh, complete them to a substantial satisfactory result, so first, second, or third, something like that. Um, and also to basically, yeah, just complete the events. 
Uh, and then for the Horizon games, Horizon 1 is to attempt every event and come first or, like, get a good result. That includes all the uh, street races and... Um, was it head-to-head -head things and stuff like that? Oh, corner cup. Uh, and then you've also got Horizon 2. It's probably the easiest Horizon game to actually class as completed. Because for some reason, they decided to go completely back to a event list structure. Similar to how all the old motorsport games were. So... That's going to make it so much easier to actually work stuff out for that game. Uh, am I going to unlock all the cars? I'm not doing a buying all the cars thing. That's not part of my uh, playthroughs. So, And to be honest, it doesn't make for exciting YouTube content to just watch me doing the same event over and over again to try and unlock cars. So... Uh, when it comes to that stuff, I'm sort of not doing that. Yeah, it, it would take me a substantial amount of time. I'm just doing the events and being able to say I've done the events. Um, and then Horizon 3, 4, and 5 is just do the events that are on the map. So... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Nothing fancy. I am doing the DLCs, though. So. Saw on YouTube community post that you got the first WRC, three WRC games, but the Twats C CX only have the first one for PC. So I'll be waiting for the other ones to restart. Yeah, I believe I bought the last ones. <laughs> because I, um... I ordered it. I ordered WRC 1, 2, and 3... Um, and then a couple of days later, obviously someone was like, is there any way I can get the game, the older WRC games? Because I was discussing something in a Reddit forum or something. And they were gone. And I was like, what? So either I bought it or I bought the second to last one. I don't know. But, um, yeah. I have them in, in my collection. I want to get a shelf. I know it sounds random, but it makes sense. Uh, welcome back. Welcome back, NJ. Um, I want to get a shelf that goes above my setup. That'll hold, like, five game cases. And they'll be, like, my five top favorite games. So, I just want to display them. Because I think it would be cool. Hey, you, Mr. Proprietor. Bubble boy. Bubble, bubble boy. You're just a tin pan boy. What a chew. That's not a bad idea, actually. Wasn't, um... Paper Mario... Weren't they designed to not be single player though? I thought they were supposed to be like level makers or is that a different game that I'm thinking of? I thought the paper one was like the one where people would make their own levels. Right? Super Paper Mario Maker or something wasn't it? I don't know. As you can tell, I'm not a very die-hard Mario fan, so <laughs> I don't really know much about that. Paper Mario single player. Ah, fair enough. Reporting mech for stealing games, lol. <laughs> uh, do -do.
Meow. No bad. Super Mario Maker 1 and 2. Ah, is that what I'm thinking of? I don't know why. I thought it was like the paper ones because... I don't know. My head just has like a paper inspired like... I don't know. I will never back down. I haven't really played any Mario games to be honest. I think one of the few Mario games that I've played is Mario Kart. Mario Mario Kart Wii. Mario Kart um, 8. Not the deluxe one. Just Mario Kart 8 normal for the Wii U. Um, and also... What's the other game? Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games and the Winter Olympic Games. Those are the other games that I played big time that had Mario in it. I don't even know. what. Who was Mario and Sonic Olympic Games actually designed by? Who was it programmed by? Was it programmed by Sega or was it programmed by Nintendo? Bad. I will never back down. I will never lose you, to you. I love this song. Oh, I've just realized I'm going to have nine videos to edit tonight. Woohoo! Fun! There we go. A little bit off the track there. Not ideal, but we'll do the job. I'm actually thoroughly enjoying this car, I'll be totally honest. Is this fat? Or... Yeah, it's fat. Thought so. There we go. It's a good tune. Yeah. Alright, Silverstone. It is time. Time to battle the Stone of Silverness. Please don't be the full circuit. It's going to be the full circuit, isn't it? Well, it's the final event of this category, so I expect it to be substantially long. Because it's Forza. What do you expect? <laughs> I know uh, Motorsport 3, their events were slightly shorter. 
Um, from what I remember, anyways. Except for the endurance ones. Those were obviously substantially long. Uh, and the World Series at the end. That was really fucking long as well. Not bad. So yeah, a lap looks like it's going to take about 140, so... Similar times to Miguelo, I presume. Keeping these corners flowing, flowing round these corners. I'm not gonna lie, Dead Mouse, when he actually puts effort into his songs, he makes some of the best songs in the world. But there are so many songs where he's just half asked them. And they just sound rubbish. I mean, obviously, the classics from Dead Mouse and stuff like, uh, what's it called? Ghosts and stuff, I Remember, Stro, those kind of songs. They're the classics. And Monophobia. I think Monophobia is on the same level. It's definitely better than Ghosts and stuff. That's for sure. It's been so long, I've been out of my body with you. I'm feeling home, feeling alone, feel like nothing is true. Meh.
Right. Not too bad. Looking good. I'm tired. I'm very tired. I remember when the Murchielago Super Veloce came out. I think it was either 2009 or 2010. And oh my god, was that a beautiful car. Ooh, ooh. Tell me what you want, yeah. I've been waiting all night for you to tell me what you want. Tell me, tell me what you need, yeah. I see a lot Lamborghini in front of me. I wonder how I know it's a Lamborghini. It's definitely not the fact that this is an all Lamborghini event. Hmm. What you need, man. Bad. Tell me that you need me. Tell me that you want me. Need me. Tell me that you want me. Tell me that you need me. Tell me that you want me. Oh, you plebeian! I don't trust your stupid driving. Be gone, thought. Where? 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 I've been waiting all night. Tell me. Tell me that you need me. Tell me that you want me. I've been waiting on night for you to tell me. Tell me that you need me. Tell me that you want me. There you go, result. All gold for the manufacturer club. Woohoo! Result. I'll take that, thank you very much. 26 grand. Tell me that you want me. Hey, give me my damn stuff. I got the Diablo GTR.
and 181 grand for completing everything, as well as I believe it was 50 grand for completing this event. It's a good chunk of money. I'll take it. Thank you very much. Right, time to select our next event. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.